You see that shit. It didn't it don't count the deliveries accurately. It's always lagging behind. Everybody that does this shit knows that the, all the ratings are fucking inaccurate as shit. Most of it don't mean shit anyway, and they don't give a fuck about us. So you're gonna get to hear it come through my car stereo. My car stereo is pretty fucking loud. All of the core call, call you get to hear. Ver fucking beta. So I am now as an employee for this shit ass place. I now have to call them. This is why I tell people, don't call DoorDash for shit. They don't care. I wonder if we're going to hear a rooster in the background. Straight up and down. So, emergency something else. I have an emergency. We get to the... Is this the right form? Yeah, we get to the call DoorDash shit. We actually get it to let us call DoorDash. Yeah, you go through the phone. Thank you for calling DoorDash. To continue in English, press 1. Please listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. If you are a customer, please press 1. If you are a dasher, please press 2. If you are a merchant, please hold while we retrieve your details. If you are looking for assistance on getting orders, please note that dashers are more likely to receive orders in hotspots, which are indicated as red areas on the map in the dasher app. You may have multiple hotspots near you, so try navigating to one of them. If you still need help, please stay on the line and we'll connect you to an agent. As a new Dasher, you will be connected to our VIP Dasher support team for your first 14 days. You are now being connected to a specialized Dasher support agent. This session may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance and training purposes. Your continued participation in this session will be considered as express consent to be monitored or recorded. Please stay on the line after your call for a brief survey about your experience. I'm a new dasher. I'm brand fucking new, y'all. I ain't been doing this shit since fucking March of 2021. I'm new. They pay us fucking pennies. This is what we get to deal with. They pay us pennies. You see my last dash? And all that I had to deal with, I made a whopping $15.25. This is why you don't call DoorDash. This is why you never reach out. This is why you either handle it yourself or take the loss and just say, fuck it. Because look at all this shit that you got to go through for $15.25 total for 40 for 40 minutes but I'm active actually all the time yeah. hello welcome to door to support how can I help you um yes I'd like to report some sort of grievance with the with the um last order that I got the delivery to um it was a Taco Bell double order the last delivery was to an Emily Emily, yeah. Yeah, they oh, make they they <laughs> left they left very specific uh, instructions in the fuck in the um in the comment section of Everybody. for the delivery. Mm -hmm. And after actually getting into the building, which it took a good twenty minutes to actually gain access to their building, once I actually got in and got them their uh food dropped off in front of their door. What they said was going to be at their door was not there. Okay, so one... So the three, so not only was the delivery not worth it, I should have unassigned, but then I actually dealt with all of what I was asked to do. 
And how am I repaid with nothing? And then I sent the lady a message and said, I will report this delivery. And she wants to act like she don't know what she did. I took a picture of the entire surroundings as I walked up before I put the food down. And after, there was nothing there. My problem is why does DoorDash constantly allow customers to treat their drivers like this? I did my job. I actually got inside their building. It's an apartment building. Normally, I don't take apartment buildings because of this reason. You got to fight with their door codes. They don't put their address on the delivery property. The building has a giant number on it, and they refuse to write the number down for us to make it easy. So we go through all this for $4. It's, what's the temperature today? It's 22 degrees. 22 degrees outside and you see it says it's snowing in my area because I'm recording the conversation too so people can see that this is unfair of how delivery drivers are treated is DoorDash going to do something about what this customer did are you going to say anything to the customer hey don't do that you make it so we can no longer message the customers from the actual delivery to say hey this is where your food went but then they get mad at us and they rate us down but you guys don't care I, I am reading and follow, of course, uh, all your concern. Because I have taken uh, pictures of everything. I've taken pictures of what was said to me. And then I took pictures of the door where I placed the food. Okay, so uh, let me read that your offer was dropped off. They refer to this photo your last year. Oh, and can I ask why I'm called a new dasher when I've made over 2,500 deliveries? It's kind of maddening. Every time I call you guys, or if I manage to actually be able to call you guys, it tells me I'm a new dasher. I've been dashing since March of 2021. How am I new? No, I'm not sure how you didn't. That not thing, you the you system know. the recording it should like it somebody should fix it to where it doesn't say that i'm new um it's, okay so that is happening because um, any uh, every month your dash update and do any uh, uh, some evaluation of your uh, dashing and information um, it's like update each year and each month but the second so you are close to be a top dasher and the other see the other thing that i am seeing is your interaction with the customer thank you so much for letting him know as i can see the pen zero two door as a picture to meet it as a drop it off order he didn't do any complaints uh, on this order and i'm going to leave the basically the fill back okay let me check some go to back door from parking deck call 10 zero two twice to open the door elevator to 10th floor turn left right um the next time uh, as i can see the the timeline events once you wait five minutes in a this specific order like marketplace mm, you're going to report as a customer unavailable on the app because we as a dasher um, the option to wait a customer is depends which kind of order so the taco bells one has just five minutes time frame to wait and report them as a customer unavailable. Once you receive and update the app, five minutes later that you arrive at the customer, 
the app is going to let you know that you have to live in a safe place. Sometimes this kind of safe place is not a safe place. So once it's, it's happening, we could manually drop it off in a call. Try it to avoid that you wait more than 10 minutes. So it's five minutes waiting on your site and five minutes to get the resolution because it's clear that you arrive in the right um, address and it's a drop it off. And you cannot wait more than 10 minutes in a Taco Bell's order for next time. Now, um, I leave the field back on the Emily M customer uh, with the situation, Daniel. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, let me check the last. Okay, I'm sorry if there was any trouble. Thank you for the delivery. And he left, he left the deed. Do you know? She left the the tip on the door? No. There was nothing there. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Got you. Okay, let me add that comment because actually it's one of those very specific things that she provides on. Wow, it's not fair. Okay, I understand. But basically she she has the no this note that the co so now you have the key. The key is you arrived in a drop it up order, wait five minutes, click on customer unavailable, then those reports go through our system and our system is provided that you have to live in a safe, safe place. Next time to try to avoid this inconvenience to go through a uh, Knowledge building and get more time on you. Uh, 